Okay, this is the behind the scenes. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the center of this, and today you're going to find out why the Magic Donut Shop is actually the Magic Donut Shop. Remember this? I had it in one of the other videos. I'm just going to remove this now. We don't really need it on here. And this doesn't have to match exactly. So we're just going to take a white grease pencil. We're going to let's see. I believe that goes that way. Get as close as we can, and we're just going to draw a line around here. And none of these have to be perfect. It's a donut, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go inside this about to here, and we're going to cut the hole here. And then we'll put a piece of green uh, fabric on here, and we're going to shoot this against a green screen. So what you see here, like if I hold it in front of me, I won't be there. I will disappear. If I hold it up over my head, my head will be gone. So that's why it's called the Magic Donut Shop. And if there were a business, the Magic Donut Shop, what would be cool is if you had this set up with a green screen background, people could actually stand in front of it. They could take their picture and it would be just a little something that people could take with them. They could take a picture of them holding this sign, get advertisement, and uh, people will show it to all their friends because there's actually, they're not standing behind the sign. There's just a big hole where their stomach would be. So, let the cutting begin. I've got a raisin right there somewhere. So what we're going to do is... Okay, there's the hole. Now we'll get the fabric out. And when I draw this on the fabric, it will be important then because I really want it to be the size of this right here. Then I'll be able to stick my arm through this without any problem. Stick my hand through. And that'll have its own neat effect. Okay, so here's the green screen fabric. Just enough so that we can get a uh, piece of green out of this. So that will be bigger than the hole I cut. And we'll glue that right onto the front of the sign. Kind of a left handed cutter, and I think these are right handed scissors, I'm not sure. So what we're going to do is, I'll get a piece of cardboard, and a really sharp knife, and see if I can cut it out that way, because the scissors aren't working too well for me. I've never been uh, really good with scissors. Because I'm left-handed, and they usually don't, don't cut that well. And all you lefties out there, you know and understand exactly what I'm talking about. Cool. So here we go. Now my screen may be a little smaller, but that's okay. I'm going to put this over here like so. Interesting. So we'll just glue that on there. And when I stand in front of the green screen and hold this up, there won't be anything there. Should be a very, very cool effect. So I think I'm going to get the hot glue gun and glue this up. Okay, I didn't have any of the glue that I wanted, so I guess I'm going to have to use this. Not that I really want to, but. I'm afraid it'll leak through the fabric. That's my only uh, fear on this particular thing. But let's give it a, let's give it a shot. Just flip it over. It is water-based. It's an interior glue too, which 
That's fine, this isn't going outside. So I can use a little uh, windshield washer fluid here. Clean up any excess. It doesn't leave a film or a stain. I'm just hoping it doesn't affect the uh, because it's a different color, it might affect the green screen part of it. Don't know, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so today we're going to be working on what's going to make the Magic Donut Shop work. And I'm going to be putting a green screen up. Now if you notice, as the video goes along, you're not going to be able to see the windows through the green screen. It's really important if there's any backlight at all, block it off so that it's not shining through the green screen. Hey everyone, this is Gary at Duck Hope Signs and I just finished the Magic Donut Shop sign. Now, this is a magic sign and you might be wondering why. It's the way I cut the hole. Now I know some of you are thinking, I've cut a lot of holes in signs and I don't know of any of them being magic. But watch this one. I run my hand behind it, move it up and down, and guess what? You can't see my arm. Huh? Ever cut a hole in the sign? Has ever run their arm through there and you can't see it? Hey everyone, this is Gary at Duck Hope Signs. And I just finished the Magic Donut Shop sign. Now, this is a magic sign, and you might be wondering why. It's the way I cut the hole. Now, I know some of you are thinking, I've cut a lot of holes in signs, and I don't know of any of them being magic. But watch this one. I run my hand behind it, move it up and down, and guess what? You can't see my arm. Huh? Ever cut a hole in the sign? Has ever run their arm through there, and you can't see it? And what's going to happen is, they get to put this on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever they want with, every time they take a picture of somebody, with the person that's holding the sign as advertisement, the person takes it, they may put it on their account, and not only does the company get advertisement, but so do you. And what's going to happen is, they get to put this on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever they want with every time they take a picture of somebody with the person that's holding the sign as advertisement. The person takes it, they may put it on their account, and not only does the company get advertisement, but so do you.